Honestly, today you're the thing that's making me happiest. Though this thing is going to come a close second. Nah, it's not. Nothing's coming a close second to you. Okay, so... Hello, YouTubers, and... God, I'm just so excited. <laughs> God, when my dad said uh, something's coming in the post for you, uh, I was literally like Popeye when he gets his spinach. Fucking leapt into action. <laughs> of course, next door's God starts barking as soon as I start unboxing this. Oh well, we'll, we'll continue, we'll continue, so... Essentially, here it is, the Elusive Season 14 box set, which is very hard to get at the minute if you didn't pre-order, and the reason is, is obviously because, well, we went into fucking lockdown, so that's why. So, I'm wondering if that, because this might be the case that they might have um, some later on, because I know HMV actually were having some delivered to their store. Obviously, you can't go to an HMV store at the minute, so yeah, we'll see. I know that Argos have it on their website, though, depending on your area, because uh, I know my friend Reese, he had, he was able to order one for, uh, to be delivered to him, but where I live, I couldn't. But anyway, anyway, I, I, I'm just scrolling, and also uh, <laughs> my joints are hurting because I fell down the stairs a couple of days ago. So, yay! So obviously we get the really nice artwork. I'm filming this in the garden just because, well, it's uh, not ridiculously bright, but it's also, you know, not horrible. So yeah, here we are. Lovely, jovely. That is that is quite nice. That actually looks like um, something out of a game, actually. Let's open it up. Again, lovely artwork as usual. Woohoo! Face of evil. And it and uh, the just so you know, if you if you are unable to get this one, the American version comes out in August. So, yeah. So disc one, the Mask of Manjagara, which is the weakest story of this season, in my opinion. Hand of Fear, the Sliden's last, obviously. I'm, I'm actually, you know, what I'm just gonna... ah, here it is. My favourite Doctor Who story of all time, The Deadly Assassin. Face of Evil, as mentioned before. And I do like the fact that they do have this, they all have uh, the Seal of Rassilon. Although technically it's the Seal of Voga from uh, Season 12, so... Ooh, there's a bit of a uh, thing if you didn't know. Robots of Death, excellent story. And, ah, yes, SGWs uh, need not apply if you're, you, you know, if you have problems with this box set. Do, do, do you know what happens, actually? I can tell you something. Do you know what happens if I have a problem with a story if I don't like it? I just don't watch it. Simple as. What the hell's happened here at the back? One of the discs has fallen out. And, Tongues of Wing Chiang, second disc. Okay. And disc 8 is our bonus disc. And uh, that's pretty, pretty much the same as the season 12 one, but then again, the title sequence is exactly the same, so yeah. But to be honest, the people who were complaining, saying, oh, Talents of Wang Chang shouldn't be included in this box set, were those people actually ever going to actually buy this box set? Really, were you? I'd be curious to hear. If you were going to buy this box and then suddenly, oh no. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but first we'll take a look at the booklet. Lovely image of Tom Baker looking uh, slightly worried and concerned from Deadly Assassin. Again, a really nice image of Tom. And a synopsis on season 14, which you can pause to read all of this information in, the, in your own time, even though I know you won't. Because I wouldn't either. I mean, I'll be reading it when I'm going through the discs, but, uh... Yeah, whoever pauses the video to read the information. But if I don't do it, someone will complain that I don't do it. So, here it all is. 
again with nice lovely artwork um which unfortunately the american version uh does not have uh the australian version as far as i'm aware does unless they decide to stop that which is very possible so i guess i have to pause it for a second to grab a seat because otherwise i was gonna well my legs were gonna fall asleep that is some nice artwork behind a fear really nice hand i think it's hand drawn i don't know But again, just the information. Apologies if the quality isn't up to scratch because I'm filming this on my phone. Uh, not my normal camera, so apologies if the quality is lesser. Again, just going through the book. I'm actually going to go through this quickly because I'm not even halfway through this book. Audio commentaries. Deadly Assassin. Ooh, that is a nice picture of Peter Pratt's master. Very nice, very nice. You know what, I'm just going to show the text like that. It's in 4K, zoom in. Again, nice artwork for Face of Evil. I'm showing the entire bloody booklet here. Yeah, uh, normally I skim through this much, much faster. Robots of Death. Okay, that is interesting artwork for Robots of Death, actually. Big simplicity, but it works. Ah, and then here we go, controversial. Although, you know... I mean, if you have problems with the story, then fine, but... You know, don't try to get it banned and taken off uh, bloody Britbox and... All its DVD and now Blu-ray distribution, just... Nah, come on. If you're unable to watch it, then fine, but... Just don't be a dick to everyone else. And as ever, um, I will be ripping this box set as ever. But, uh, you know, I'm actually going to watch it all first before I... Decide to... Work. Well, decide I will be ripping it. And, again, image of Tom Baker on the back. So again, this image is on here, but there, here is the secondary console room. Uh, they should not be that white, they should be more like church lights. But basically, I do like, I really do like this room. The only thing I don't like about it is that bloody console, which is just some uh, drawers. But yeah, secondary console room, the only time we will ever see this in a box set. But very nice, nonetheless. So... Obviously, the question is, should you get it? Well, you know what I'm going to say because I've bought it. But here's the question, though. If you didn't manage to pre-order it, what should you do? Well, there's two things. One, keep checking Argos's website uh, to see when they actually get it in. So just just keep checking. It is on, your, on their website uh, to add to Trolley. It's just to see if it's available in your area. So... That's uh, something there. If not, then don't pay eBay prices. Do not pay £200 for this. Just don't. <laughs> um, what I would suggest is waiting to see, you know, after lockdown to see if uh, retail schools like HMV will, you know, maybe hopefully get it in. And um, if not, if all else fails, then go for the American release. That's what I would go for. Because the content is exactly the same it's, it's the packaging and admittedly it is much nicer packaging but is it worth you know an extra 150 odd quid more i would say no but that's just me but anyway that's it for this unboxing and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye